good morning you guys happy Tuesday I just got to work and I'm like getting myself together I wore my Colts um, bright blue sweatshirt this morning because I couldn't find um, any of my jack like my work jackets and I think it's because they're all here so I'm just taking that off it's kind of chilly this morning uh, but anyway welcome back to the channel I took last week off I tried to vlog um, and then I just like did it <laughs> I went to the Taylor Swift concert last week so it was a really fun week and I wish I would have vlogged but it's okay life just gets crazy sometimes um, but anyway we are back at it um, my hair is just oh for all of you guys who don't follow me on TikTok I dyed my hair brown um, my natural hair is very brown and I was sick of my roots growing out so I went back to it and I've been absolutely loving it I feel like it looks really good it makes me look like younger yet kind of more mature I don't know what is up with this thing on the top of my head like is that cute I don't think so it'll have to do but anyway it kind of has like a red tint to it but it's not red sometimes like in different lighting it looks red but anyway um today I am at it's Tuesday um I am at a different office location I come here on Monday afternoons and Tuesdays which will change next week because I'm taking over a nurse practitioner schedule who is leaving so I think I'll actually be here on Wednesdays and Thursdays which is fine because actually it's a little bit further from my house but I like this office it's just chiller so anyway it's time to go in it's like 8 15 I have like admin time from 8 to 9 so I'm missing my admin time but anyway cheers to a great week I think I'm just gonna vlog for a couple of days and do like a few days in my life so let's have a good few days having a little bit of Chipotle this is just leftovers actually from Sunday night um, because we had a drug rep meal yesterday so I ate that for lunch and then anyway whatever and then I am headed to the gym it is 12 30 right now i'm a little bit late my last patient of the morning i was in there for like an hour um but it's okay so we're headed to the gym all right you guys and now that this entire day of vlogging has been in the car i am officially done with work for the day today i really i only saw like eight patients today um which was glorious to be completely honest it was magical um, I wish that the max of patients that we saw was like 10 because it just ensures that less mistakes happen. My charting is better. Seeing patients, like I feel like I have more time with them. I'm not rushed and it's amazing. So I'm definitely going to miss that when it comes to like my schedule fully opens next week. I will be like fully accredited. Everything is set in stone next week. Um, so yeah I'm kind of nervous because I probably I'm taking over um, this other girl who's leaving her schedule because um, she's like going part-time to work at a pediatrician's office so I'm taking over her schedule which includes a lot of peds which you guys know I love peds I love my pediatric rotation but as I'm working in primary care I don't love seeing I don't love seeing babies for their well visits because I feel like I don't have enough time um, and it's I just feel like it's such a big responsibility which of course it is and as it should be but it's so much you have to check like the vaccines I have to check Florida shots I have to check this site that we use called Vax Care, which makes sure that they're eligible because we see a lot of Medicaid patients um, so it's hard and it's a lot um, <clears throat> but anyway it's okay I can do it <laughs> and I'm hoping that I will like it more as I get more um, as I see more of that, I just really haven't seen a ton of that so far. I've done like a few well checks and um, like a few sick visits, which is, I don't mind sick visits at all. Um, but anyway, that's the update. Today was a good day. I loved seeing like just a little bit of less patience. And um, now I'm headed to my husband's volleyball game. I'm hoping that he answers me. He. I texted him and asked him what time it was at because I thought it was at 6, but apparently it's at 5. It's 4.53 right now. I left work like a little bit early. Um, it's 4.53, and I just need to know if the dogs have been let out because I can't rightfully leave them in the house all day. 
Um, I need to go home first if they haven't. And I, I have such a hard time like leaving the house once I got to the house. I'm like, I just want to be here for the rest of the night. But we shall see. I'm waiting for him to text me. I've called, I've texted him and I've called him. I'm that annoying wife. Like, I will berate you until I get an answer because I need the answer now. You know. Um, he's pretty decent about answering, but the game's about to start, so I'm sure he's busy. Anyway happy end of Tuesday. For dinner tonight, I think I'm going to make like a pasta salad. Um, I'm going to like veganize my mom's recipe that she like made growing up with like a protein pasta and then peppers, cucumber, Italian seasoning, uh, Italian dressing, and vegan feta cheese. I might add other things to it, but that's the plan for now. So I'll take you guys along when I make that. Hey, Jose. All I need is pine nuts. Oh, that would have been so good on it. Oh, good to go. You know, some roasted pine nuts on the stove. And Don't we? <laughs> yeah. Tonight we have a pasta salad. Um, this pasta is actually this is actually a home recipe, one that April's mother used to make. It's delicious. You cook your pasta first. Make sure you get the water to a boil. Sometimes we salt. Sometimes we don't. You dump your water. You dump your pasta in there. Let it go until it's nice, almost just right past al dente, because we're a kind of a family that likes <laughs> the al dente pasta a little more than the chili pasta. So then why would you go past al dente? So, because just a little bit past it makes it perfect. So <laughs> then, uh, while you're doing that, you're prepping your veggies, you're prepping your orange pepper, you're, pre you're prepping your cucumber, your oh. avocado, uh, your cilantro, your green pepper, and you're getting your feta cheese ready. Oh my god, wait. Kalamata olives. I have to put that in there. That'd be And of so course good. we need kalamata olives because it'll be good. It brings a salty kind of tang to it. That'd be so good. And then now I have to dump my whole bowl out after I've explained that. Sorry, we're not ready, people. We need to reshoot this. The people wanted something more than what you could give them. Sorry. Now, this is what it looks like after you've finished eating. Here, you can help me. I'll cut the olives. I'll just throw it away. Yeah. Oh no, you can cut the olives. I'll clean up. How about that? Sounds like a plan. People are like, this guy's a psychopath. What? People are like, this guy's a psychopath. <laughs> Now the worst part of cooking, which is cleaning up the aftermath. I hate doing dishes, but honestly, this pasta salad turned out so good, you guys. Um, I I don't use recipes for things. I'm not a recipe girly unless I'm like using somebody else's recipe. But when I'm making up a recipe, I just like throw stuff in and hope it turns out okay. So I wanted to tell you guys what I use for this. It. My mom used to make an, a version of this growing up, and so I kind of remembered some of the stuff she used to use, and I just like went with it. So it is the Barilla protein pasta. I got the penne, and then I put one green pepper, one, I'm in focus, right? Yeah, one orange pepper, a full cucumber cut up into fourths, Kalamata olives. I put vegan feta cheese, but you can use regular feta cheese. And then Italian dressing. I used this Italian vinaigrette from uh, Publix, but it's the brand Marie's. And I actually really like this one. And it is so good. You just like, oh, I put some fresh cilantro in here as well and avocado. And you literally just mix it up. I think it probably will dry itself out a little bit. So I like left some of this for like when we reheat it because honestly I'll probably reheat it i'll eat it for lunch tomorrow there's so much like i made all of this like there's so much so eat it for lunch maybe eat it for dinner again i don't know i love leftovers i'm a huge leftover person because i believe that a lot of society eats out too much and it's really bad for you to eat out so i try to eat at home as much as possible just cause like you know what you put in your food. Um, but I won't get into that philosophy. So, because I do still eat out. I'm not crazy, okay? Like it's not like I'm never eating out. But at least during the week we try to eat at home and eat fairly healthy. I'm sorry that the lighting is changing. I don't know what's going on. But, um, oh also, I meant to show you guys this but I filmed a TikTok and it's like hard to do both. If you ever need a really good snack and like you're into salty snacks like me personally i love chips i love chips so i don't really stock them in my house because i will eat all of them um 
and I don't like to munch on like just regular like cucumbers and hummus or peppers and hummus like sometimes I will do that but I'm never craving that so to kind of ramp up my cucumber snacking I've been cutting up cucumbers just slicing them putting a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning on it oh you could eat it just like that it's so good and then I also like to dip it in Ithaca hummus. This is hummus is really clean, has really clean ingredients. Only It's only chickpeas, water, tahini, organic sunflower oil, cold pressed lemon juice, vinegar, salt, fresh garlic, cumin, and crushed red pepper. And it tastes super good. So I've been on that snack game recently. It's chef's kiss. You guys, I have been the worst vlogger today. Today has been absolutely like crazy. And you know what? I'm pretty sure I only saw 15 patients today, which is five off of my, when I'm, I'm supposed to be seeing 15, I mean 20. And at this point I can't imagine seeing 20 patients because I didn't finish my charting at work today. I had to bring it home. So I just finished my charting. It's 620 right now. Granted, I did leave work at like 515. It took me like maybe maybe 45 minutes to finish my charting not long um it flew by but anyway the thing is is like it's so difficult to like constantly be seeing patients and constantly be charting and constantly be putting in orders and it's it's frustrating that 20 patients a day is the standard because it's it's impossible to get it all done like i didn't look at my inbox today i didn't look at any of my patient cases i you know I don't know, if, hopefully there's nothing stat in my inbox. I did, I mean, I looked at it when I was done with my charting. I just looked at it and there's like MRI results, pelvic ultrasound results, labs, but nothing crazy, nothing that I would need to address today. But it's so hard to do all of that. And I was recently talking to somebody on TikTok about it and she was asking like, as a new provider, how do you do all of that? And I was like, you, you don't. But that's the thing about being a provider is you ha you take work home which I do miss about, like, I miss that about being a nurse, just coming home and being done. And, yeah, but I don't miss, like, working in the hospital and stuff. Anyway, I made a really good pasta salad last night, but I had it that for lunch, and I know that Seth had that for lunch as well, so he's not going to want it for dinner and then lunch again tomorrow. So I think I'm just going to make <coughs> tacos. Um, so I saw a patient for strep today. Um they were sick and then i was just actually like looked at my inbox for a second and it said that they told me that only the strep was positive but we tested for strep flu and um covid so they told me that the strep was positive and that the others were negative but when i just looked at my box it said that the covid was positive and now i'm like is that a mistake because they told me that everything else was negative i'm hoping it's a freaking mistake because Ugh. Anyway, the joys of being a primary care provider. So I need to put up. I've been listening to the Curbsiders um, podcast on generalized anxiety disorder. Um, because first of all, you can get CEUs for listening to them. And second of all, I just like their insight on things. Um, so highly recommend. I think I've already said that I recommend listening to them. Um, but I really like like a lot of their topic. They obviously they work in internal medicine, so a lot of their topics are so relevant to me. And listening to stuff is very easy for me, especially things that I feel like I need to be brushed up on. I'm pretty good with generalized anxiety disorder, but I like to see how other like what um, other people use as far as SSRIs for what other indications because um, I like to. Yeah, so I'm just listening to that podcast. I just took a shower and then this is my dinner. Like waited a little while to eat because I snacked on some like garlic tofu when I got home because I was really hungry. And honestly, this is looking like way too much food at this point in time, but I might not eat all of it. One thing about me that you guys should know is I leave drawers and cabinets open all the time. It pisses my husband off so much, understandably so, but just doesn't really bother me. I'm going to take this outside because it is a beautiful evening and the dogs love being outside. Hozier is obsessed 
with this bird's nest that's at the very top of this tree this tree over there and he is driving me crazy because he there first of all the bird's nest is so high i don't think that he can get it but he's just been sitting there like crying at them it's so bad and i'm scared that he's gonna like mess with the baby birds so let's keep an eye on that but anyway i'm just gonna eat dinner good morning you guys happy thursday i'm headed to work this morning it's a little bit after eight o'clock i'm a little bit late but that's okay um it's just hurting me because i'm just missing out on my own charting time um but it's okay i finished my charts last night and i just need to look at like my labs and imaging stuff today and get some results out to patients and stuff like that so i'm gonna do that this morning it looks like it's gonna be the most heavenly day outside like there is not a cloud in the sky it is so blue um okay also this the most random thing happened last night at like 4 30 a.m i got an emergency like response text saying like this is a drill um both me and my husband got it so i'm wondering if like every iphone user got it it was like 4 30 in the morning something like that i was like what is going on it scared the crap out of both of us because we have a house alarm so we, i thought our house alarm was going off and i'm like oh shiz this is bad but it wasn't thank god it was just so random and then after that it was hard for me to fall back asleep because my adrenaline was pumping and i was just like it was weird so anyway i did fall back asleep and i don't know like why is that this morning was like i somebody lost their job over that because I, like, I thought it might be like an amber alert or something but even an amber alert doesn't go off if your phone is on sleep mode like both of our phones are on sleep mode i'm gonna see if i can see what it says This is a test of the emergency alert system. No action is required. That was not necessary at that time of day. Absolutely not. But anyway, I'm happy it's Thursday. That means tomorrow's Friday. That's somehow loosely associated with Twilight. They made The Last of Us based off of a friggin' video game. Oh, did they? What? All right, you guys, it is Thursday evening. This is dinner. Camper is playing, but this is the most random dinner ever. It's literally so weird. Pesto, chickpeas, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and vegan cheese sauce. I don't know what it's gonna taste like. I usually make this meal, you guys have seen it a million times. Camper, can you not right now? I can't. This is what he does to like <coughs> get his energy out. Anyway, I usually make this meal um, very differently, but this is what I had today. Kimber! You're so strong. You're so strong. Come on, do you want to play? Okay, ready? Get it! Where'd it go? Oh. Oh. 